Alrighty, what is up guys and welcome back to the channel. Today we will be doing the quest Fate of the Fallen. It starts at 165, negative 675. You don't need anything to begin the quest. And it's a very long one, but it gives us our next dungeon, the Ice Sparrows Dungeon. And it gives us a lot of our history for Nasak, which is kind of cool. So we start by talking to the Major here, T Talvu. So we go ahead and go through all of his dialogue, and then we have to go get the weapon that he wants from the bank. So we have to head back into Nasak over here. I'm gonna travel real fast. All the way down and across town. We're gonna come into the bank. And the item is right here. In order to get the item, we have to do a little bit of parkour and jump in from the top. Bink. And now we have the staff. So now we can bring the staff back to the mage perfect and here he is we talk to him perfect and now we have to enter the portal right here you need particles to see it but here it is we go through it and just like that we are at the time valley again this is probably one of the last times that we'll ever be in the time valley but it is kind of cool so we enter the gate of time and now we are way back in time and there's a ton of dialogue we just have to shift through everything can i return to goals fulfilled you will access memory there we go that took forever when well, we come here we right click on the book and voila here we are we jump down we come here we talk to Pisern. perfect and then we go look for theoric who is in the ice forest um, at that beacon, there it is. Okay. So we go ahead and go and follow the beacon. Here we go, here we go. What is up, Theoric? He goes through all of his dialogue. He has a ton of dialogue. We just have to follow him. He's a very powerful guy. Just look at him. Pretty much just go through his dialogue. And once his dialogue is over, we have to head to the base of the South Operation. It is, there is a beacon on it, so we just follow the beacon. There we go. It's a lot of just following beacons. And then there's gonna be one big fight. We go inside the house, and then we leave the house. He should be right here. We talk to them. And after we talk to them, it should teleport us. So here we go. And we are teleported over to the nether portal. Which is super, super cool. There he is, he enters the portal, and he gets corrupted or something. I'm not entirely sure, I don't remember. That corrupted something breaks the bridge, and now we have to defend the bridge for a little while. So, we're going to have to press the button, and we have to survive for a minute and 30 seconds. Okay, whenever these guys spawn, we, we do have to defeat these guys, because they will drop stuff for us. Voila. And now we successfully have defended the portal. And I believe things... Oh, there we go. Th there's some right here above this block. If you right-click it, it will fix the bridge. If you right-click it with your orbs. And then it fixes the bridge. We cross over to the bridge. And we... There we go. And just like that, it puts us through the new thing. Theorix comes, comes through. And he's like, oh no. What have I done? Man, shaders are awesome. There's Theoric. Oh, we go through all of his dialogue. He's going crazy. He makes, he ices everything up. He freezes everything up. He comes here and then he creates the Ice Bear's dungeon to hide himself in there so that he doesn't harm anyone. And here we are. We're here in the present day. We talked to Tevalu. Three, four, six, seven, eight, nine, and just like that, we have completed the quest. Alrighty, and here we have the wiki. It is the Fate of the Fallen. It's a long level 43 quest, taking place mostly in the Nasak Forest at different points in time. So we begin by talking to Tevalu, who is a mage. He says, ah, a member of the Ragni Armory. We are trying to gain entry to this frozen barrow. We could use your aid. Are you familiar with the story of Theoric in Nasak? Probably not. Well, you see, Nasak was not always frozen. 
During Theoric's time, this place was like the Wind Plains, warm and arable. But for some time, Theoric Twain used his immense power to freeze the land before exiling himself here. We need to find out why so we can reverse the spell. Presumably, the source of that spell's magic would be within here. As such, you have heard of a place called Time Valley? We could use that to go back in time. So he helps us to get there and get it back in time. We jump in the portal and we go back in time and we go through the experience of why it happened the way that it was. So we go and we find Theoric, Theoric Twain, and he's busy fighting a war, uh, a person tells us. He's like, he went west, we find Theoric, and he's going all around helping people out, and he says, listen, the last man that entered the portal and returned became Bacal, but if there is even a fraction of a chance this could work, we must take it at this point. Now, the reason he is saying that is because the corrupted come from the portal. So he is trying to find a way to stop them. So he's like, look, the sheer coal that I can command can stave off corruption itself. Somehow I doubt any of you can say the same. He'll go in alone when I enter. If I had to make an assumption, corrupted will swarm the portal after me. Your job is to slay them. I can't have distractions in there. So we go to the portal we protect it from him and then he tells us afterwards after he went in and gave it his best attempt he says no 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 you know what happened i lost i will destroy the province if i turn completely get away now do you hear me run okay okay calm yourself he, he's selling himself don't lose yourself he's like and so he's fighting so much with the self and then he's like listen here in this accursed place find me and end it all so what he ends up doing is he ends up freezing the whole town and then freezing himself in the ice barrows so in that case he could uh not destroy the entire province and he tells us he's like until future days here in this accursed place find me and end it all and so that is how we complete it and as from the lore from Lucico's library, it says that the Twains fell one by one, some to Bacall and some to Corruption. Theoric falling to Corruption in the quest means either Duendo or Riccio were personally killed by Bacall, which is true. True. Okay, so we're going to scroll up to the top just to see what we get at the end of the quest. We received 20,000 experience points, which is just all right again. An avalanche, which is just a armor piece. We get an Ice Bear's Key Dungeon and an uh, access to the dungeon, which is very, very awesome. And the item is a helmet. Um, it gives mana regen, which is really awesome. XP bonus, intelligence, which is good. Gives thorns, which is fun. And then water and air damage. So it's kind of nice. It's a pretty good helmet for its level. Doesn't give that much health, but it does give you a lot of other stuff that help out. Alrighty, and that is everything for the wiki. Alrighty, thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.